Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look at the gold market as well. So, currently on the gold market it's very interesting fundamental on the ground. So in general you can see that whatever inflation data we, we've got, Fed shows no reaction and keeps the same comment that they not intend to change the terms of the starting tapering or changing the policy or something of that sort. Well, there are a few reasons exist for that. So first one is the Fed needs employment. They need to re re recover their uh, employment at the same level as it was before the pandemic. And uh, in general, by approximate calculations, they need more around 7 million jobs till the moment they, when they intend to start struggling with the inflation. This is approximately set to the term of the 12, 18 month, so the first rate change. If one farm per row list will stand around 400,000 per month on average. This is the first moment. Uh, second moment from technical, uh, from the, on the fundamental uh, side is in long term. And taking into consideration the reaction of the Fed, even on the strong numbers, we think that Fed hardly will change the major terms and starting points of the two events. First is the tapering. It should plan as it suggested in the beginning of 2022. It should be announced as early as in September this, this uh, year. And interest rate change also probably starts as it was planned in the beginning of 2023. How, in this case, we, we uh, should ask how Fed could change and, and uh, make some changing to the policy if inflation indeed starts to accelerate. We think that the major reaction from the Fed will be in a way of the tapering pace. So they intend to contract approximately uh, 10 billions per month start the tapering from the 10 billion bonds, so reducing of the purchasing for 10 billion. If inflation keeps accelerating, they could increase this to accelerate the tapering process and uh, come in faster to rate change. So rate change will start at the same term, but the tapering could be uh, closed faster. The bond, uh, the bond buying program could close faster. So this is the most a uh, probable reaction from the Fed on the current situation. It means that potentially we indeed could get strong inflation and that probably will happen. It will be negative, negatively for a gold market. But that's what happened in the long term. So uh, currently we do not see any reasons to change our long term view that gold indeed stands in some final stage of the upside action and it's uh, preparing to major reversal for a long-term bearish trend. In the shorter term, indeed, so while the interest rate stands low and balance sheet is increasing because Fed keep buying bonds, keeping interest rates under control, gold indeed has some support and it should last at least for, as I said, same 12, 18 months. I'm not sure that we definitely will get the acceleration right to the one, to the 19 per thousand area, as some traders suggest, this market could return back to this area, because if we will get some strong inflation, it probably also will keep gold under pressure, despite that Fed shows no reaction. But uh, at the same time, we see that despite the inflation is rising, everybody sees that. But somehow we do not see um, the rally on interest rates. That's the first market that should show corresponding reaction. I would say even more that during this collapse on the gold, that was an, a result of the June meeting when the Trump Powell gave, uh, has given the hint on the tapering. On interest rates, you do not see any significant rally. 
So it means that that looks really supportive to the goal. And it means that since we probably should postpone our major reversal point to the downside, until the situation will stand on the market, will stand on the market, gold probably could show some fluctuation in the wide range. So uh, in the shorter term, we should not ignore some bullish patterns that might be formed. This gold indeed could show some fluctuations in this range. Maybe it's 19 area could be reached. I do not know. Can't, I do not see the signs that it um, might be achieved. Um, but, for example, the Commerce Bank and some other companies suggest that till the end of the year, gold could reach the 19 area and 20 area right here. So that brings some environment that led gold to freely fluctuate in the wide range, following short term as bullish as bearish patterns, depending on the statistics from the 1.2 people view that probably should become the driving factor for the bearish trades. And some flat Fed reaction and low interest rates that we have currently, that should support for gold or some bullish uh, context. Currently, in the coming week, we intend to follow our training plan that we prepared last week. And actually, here we consider two moments. First is uh, stands with this relation to this collapse. It actually takes the shape of the bearish and gotten on the monthly. Based on this scenario, that should be just a retracement back in the pattern body. And then we should get downside continuation acceleration with this A, B, C, top some D point target. That's usually, that's just classic price action based on engulfing. That's what we are watching. But to trigger this downward action, market has to form some extended bearish pattern that may, that we uh, could use for taking the short position. And as we discussed on Friday, that might be the uh, hand and shoulders on the hourly or forward time frame chart. That really could let us to do this. So for example, let's take a look that uh, that might be the pattern. Select shoulder head, and we will be waiting for the top of the right arm around 1815 area. That target is suitable for taking the short position. So that's what about the longer term perspective. In the shorter term, for those of you who intend to buy gold, you also could keep an eye on the 18 even area because take a look here, we have confidence support. And uh, that is relatively safe to consider taking the long position here because if, if, if market later will fail to proceed higher, at the first touch of this area, we probably should get some minor bounce. That will be enough to protect your position with the break-even stuff. This is simple logic that you could follow. Also, you consider this natural support resistance area. So, previous to was resistance, breakout, now it's support. And again, market could return right back down. This will be support and the neckline. And from the logic of the hand and shoulders, the pullback should be somewhere to the 18.15. So it's quite enough to move stops to the break even. Also, it's, it's even some probability exists that hand shoulders could fail if indeed market will proceed higher. It's also possible. So from that standpoint, this level looks attractive for considering taking the long position, at least if, if we will not get something of that sort. If it will be relatively great or slow action, that might be done. So, um, actually, if you will see here the hand and shoulders as well, we expect something of that sort here, a retracement up in the neckline. So, uh, on the hourly chart, I know that somebody, or you, some of you have taken the position based on the minor passion that we have discussed on, on Friday as well. This might be the trigger on the reaction on the, hand, on the butterfly passion and also was shape of some hand and shoulders. So, I know that you have taken the position based on that. Currently, consider this pattern is, is completed because market hates the XOP, which is ultimate target for a minor pension. It doesn't mean that market can't go lower, but uh, this pattern now is eliminated. It's, it's completely target, and you have to make, make a decision on your position, what you intend to do. So you could book the result, or you could reclassify your position for a higher performance higher term, longer term performance. In this case, you could stop it probably um, at the break even and just watching what will happen with this, uh, whether it's market will form the hand shorts or not. Also, I think that a good compromise, just split the position, book half of the profit 
and keep the rest for a possible larger pattern to be formed. Because our task on the market not to get long and extended swings, but to get the result, the, the profit. And if you have have uh, successive trade, you need to extract something from it. From that standpoint, you could take the half of your result here and, and keep the rest for further action. So that's actually what we have on the gold and what we intend to do in the next week. So let's keep watching. Our first destination is uh, 18 even area, whereas neckline is 10, and potentially long, long trade around it. So here we will be watching for the patterns and watch for reaction in the market uh, right from this level.